Okay, let's do practice exercise 2. Question 5. The average of 3 consecutive prime numbers is 223 by 3. What is the difference between the greatest and the smallest number that can be part of such a set? Now, if the average is 223, that means the sum should be 223. Average is sorry, 223 by 3. Okay. And sum is 223. Okay. Average as per the question is 223 by 3. Now, which means each number is approximately around 75 or the average is around 75. So, I have to look at three consecutive time numbers. The keyword out here is they have to be consecutive. So, let's look at time numbers close to 75. The prime numbers close to 75, the closest is 73. Then if you go beyond 73, next will be 79. Okay. So, 73 plus 79, that makes it 149, 152. So, the third number should be around 70 only. So, the so go below this, 71. So, the three consecutive prime numbers are these, around 73. And what is their sum? 71 plus 73 plus 79 is 223. So, the condition is satisfied. So, the difference between the two has to be 71 minus 79 is 8. Correct answer, choice A. If the question did not have the word consecutive, then it could have been a very different scenario. If I remove this word consecutive, then we will need to find out are there other combinations also that give us a sum of 223, sum of 3 prime numbers which add up to 223 and there could be many of them. For example, apart from 71, 73, 79, which are the three consecutive prime numbers, I will now look at increasing 79, reducing 71 or, say, or 70, and 73 or one of them. Okay. For example, if I go below 71, I could take 67. Keeping 73 wherever it is, I could, since 71 has gone down by 4 to 67, so 79 should go up by 4, it will make 83. So we have another case. Another case similarly could be 73, 61 and 89. So there could be multiple cases if the question did not specify consecutive because the question said consecutive does not an issue. So if the question had only this greatest difference between greatest and smallest and consecutive was not there, I will start looking for the smallest prime number. The two smallest prime numbers be 2 and 3 and the third number then has to be 223 minus 2 plus 3, 5 which is 218. Okay. But 218 is not a prime number, so this combination is not possible. Now, this also tells me that 2 cannot be one of the prime numbers. The reason is if 2 is one of the prime numbers, the total is 223. That means the sum of the other two has to be 221. But all prime numbers apart from 2 will be odd. And 2 odd numbers cannot give you a sum which is odd. 2 odd numbers will give you an even number. So, I'll start by saying 2 cannot be a part of my answer. So, 3, 5, 5 and 3, 8, 223 minus 8 is 215, 215 is not possible. So, instead of 5, next look for 7, 3 and 7, 10, 223, 213, check out if this is a prime number or not, if this is a prime number, then that will get the answer. So, if the question was without the word consecutive, it would require slightly higher amount of work. But I am sure you can find the answer to this question also without the word consecutive.